a really cool tutorial this time around because we've got for and after uh, Manuela for this tutorial and we're getting these really nice blue and orange tones there's a decent amount of contrast but it's all very smooth and underexposed so we're working with this image here we have the raw image uh, let's recreate the shot okay showing you the cropping first up we're just cropping in and straightening for the horizon that's about it we're gonna have to bring up a lot of shadow detail you can't see it in this image and it was very well exposed out of camera white balance really well as well so we'll lift up the shadows so we can see way more um, we will up the highlights to see a bit more detail the brights and then like the style has so much flattening to it so we'll go drop the whites just so it doesn't have that harsh bright look to the highlights and then a touch more contrast with the blacks here Another thing about the style is it's very, it's on the natural side a little bit. So we'll just drop the clarity a bit. And then curves are going to play a big role in this, darkening the image a little bit. This is dropping the entire exposure of the image. And then there's just a little bit of, you know, like a bit more deepening to the dark areas. And we're capping off the whites here so it doesn't get too bright. So we're just really bringing down the exposure of the entire image. And that is all. And then obviously there's a little, little shine to the blacks there. Otherwise, that's it. We're just sort of bringing down the exposure. Um, it's very different to working with the sliders up here, the difference between curves and sliders. I do break it down very in depth inside the course. It's one of the main things I cover is like why work with the sliders versus why work with the curves. There's a big difference. So it'll probably take 20 minutes, but like this overrules the sliders, okay? So it caps them off. You can't, whatever you do here limits these but we'll move on to color so i'll just go with split turning first up so we have like this blue split coming in so shadows we'll work in shadows we will go we'll go for teal and we'll put some blue in there and then we're gonna and we're gonna complement that orange highlights and a lot of orange highlights but then with the blending, you play around with this. I want, just going by this, I want more orange tones. So I'm going to go to the right and then balance. Um, just kind of shifting the midpoint, the intersection point of the highlights and shadows. That gives us that orange and deep blue split. So if, then if we like drop the saturation, obviously, of a few of these, we should get really close to our colors. Maybe not much of the oranges. Okay, so definitely what we need to do, profile corrections. Should have done that before. Uh, just here, we'll up the vibrance. And now it's work with the HSL. So maybe we do need to bring out the oranges a bit more. And the yellows really stand out. But then we want these blues quite far down. Not many greens in here. Um, purple magenta. We look kind of strange. Like her, we need much more red tone. Much more red tone to her arm, face, everywhere. So let's go to the left with the oranges. And with the reds, I'm going to come to the right. But then up the red and saturation. Just so we get a bit more punch of it. And then as for the teals, we want a, a bit more of a teal to our blues. So what's so special about this edit is that Manuela actually learned to edit within the course. So she came into the course um, not understanding the why behind the adjustments, being pretty disappointed with other courses because they just sort of told her to play around with the tools and didn't explain the why. So she came into the course quite frustrated and with a very inconsistent feed that didn't have a consistent look just within a few weeks she she understood the why behind everything and now she has really great edits like this and she's been able to continue to do good edits that build out in a consistent way through her feed wanted to be more consistent with my style i have used presets before it's just it wasn't looking consistent and i wanted to learn more about the theory of calling how to get your own style without using presets that was the reason why I bought the course. When I got into the course, it blew me away that Martin was teaching even way more than I even expected. And I understood finally how curves work, how to get a cohesive style and do it just by your own, not just with a preset. Color theory and then on top of that, the amazing lessons by so many teachers that they 
literally break apart their style and show you step by step how to get that same style in Lightroom. It was just like, yeah, this is the place for me. Martin course is unique because I feel is the only course out there that actually explains from a very logical point of view how color works. A lot of people in this industry, it's a very creative industry, so they obviously put it all to just the creativity, but I think behind Lightroom there is a lot of science that can be also taught to people who are not that creative. Um, I struggle with that myself. So I wanted to learn the ins and outs, why this point why this point in the curve goes here and why it doesn't. More than just someone telling me, oh, just do an S curve. It's like, mm, no, I wanna know why and how it works. After joining the course, I was able to understand color theory, how it works within Lightroom, how it works within the curves and all the many tools that you can use within Lightroom. And little later, I actually developed my own style. I'll try to put like a picture here of what my feed looks like so you can see how cohesive it looks now before it was just a mess with presets. And I'm pretty proud that I can get to this point just myself doing it on my own. I've developed now my own preset that I use myself and that is my style. And that's what my Instagram looks so cohesive lately. Lately. If you are on the fence of buying this course, I would definitely recommend it. Basically, because if you're taking photography seriously, you want to know how all these tools within Lightroom work, especially the ones regarding color. But more than that, just to have the insights of how other pro photographers do it, it's just just worth it for that only model module. Um, but yeah, I hope you do get to enjoy this course and you create your own style and you become amazing pro editors. Aqua, maybe a bit more teal. No real greens in this. Uh, back up top, I'll just drop the saturation, I mean the contrast a bit. And another important role to this is going to be luminance, the brightness of colors. Bump up the luminance of the oranges and the reds and these blues. Maybe some yellows, uh, sharpening, we'll just up the masking so we get it sharp but then it still looks kind of natural because then we're not um, sharpening the really uh, thin edges, we're just sharpening the thick edges. Brighten shadows a touch, maybe bring down the highlights. And I'd just say her skin still looks a little yellow, we want a bit more reds. So there's a lot of yellows in the skin tone. So we will shift this to the left and that brings out a lot of the reds in the skin tone and I think we're about good. So here's the before and after, before and after. I know in this lesson we haven't had heaps of time to go into the difference between curves and sliders. Why do curves or sliders? Why brighten the luminance of colors when you could just brighten the brightness up in the sliders? We haven't had time to go over all that. So there are free trainings where I go pretty in depth. They honestly take a 20 minute video to break down. So I do have lots of free trainings and then if you want a really organized curriculum of over 200 videos breaking down everything think I know about working in Lightroom getting results like this being able to do what I do in these tutorials and recreate looks then join the course and you will be enrolled into the number one course there is to learn photo editing get a consistent feed learn how to control color um, be able to create what's in your head and then as a result you'll get a yeah, consistent feed of a style you like and one that you can call your own so I teach you that with 200 really carefully constructed videos and not only that I have a hundred guest editors coming in and what's so special about those is that you get the raw image get the preset and you can follow along step by step because that's what I wanted when I started I wanted a lot of transparency I wanted to know exactly how they did it if you're just missing one thing out of this big puzzle of photo editing your edits just look no good at all you have to understand the why and then you also need the resources like the raw image the preset 
notes and these lessons to learn everything. So we've had over a thousand people enroll now and it's by far the most advanced and best photo editing course there is. But yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Comment down below who you want to see. Comment people with great edits and I'll catch you in the next one.